What's up guys? So Apple have just announced the Vision Pro, which is Apple's new mixed reality headset. So it looks like a regular VR headset. You wear it over your head, over your eyes, but it's mainly for augmented reality. So Apple is pushing spatial computing where you can basically work from anywhere with massive multiple screens in front of you. You can have a virtual home cinema, you can play games and lots more. They talked about clear looking text and real 4K resolution. You'll be able to control things with hand gestures, so no control is included. Now there are some limitations in the experience you can get with Apple's Vision Pro when compared to a VR headset like the MetaQuest Pro. So in this video, I just want to point out a few reasons to buy and a few reasons to avoid the Apple Vision Pro. So let's start off with what I really liked about the Vision Pro. So first and foremost, the design. Headset looks really comfortable to wear. I especially like the rear head strap, which is supposed to be comfortable and is adjustable to fit. Still, of course, I do need to try it on, but the design looks promising. Having tested so many different type of headsets, I love what Apple have done here. And the actual main unit being made from a combination of metal and curved laminated glass with multiple sensors and cameras built in, the design is definitely, without a doubt, next level, futuristic, it's promising. You've got two custom micro OLED displays giving you real 4K resolution per eye. So really like the design, it's, it's an Apple product, you know it's gonna look and feel absolutely premium. Now the next positive point that I picked up is the outward display, which can automatically reveal your eyes during a conversation with other people. So that's quite a futuristic feature, we haven't seen that being done uh, on any headset so far. So that's quite interesting. Next positive point is Vision OS. The ability to navigate menus and icons with your eyes, and then you simply pinch with your fingers to make a selection. You can also do voice searches using Siri and other commands like opening or closing apps and lots more. So expect advanced eye tracking system, which we've not seen before. If you can imagine eye tracking on the PSVR 2 taken to a more advanced level, that is what Apple has tried to achieve here. Speaker location is interesting, and I'm giving it a positive, even before hearing what it sounds like. Apple has gone for an open ear design, which is supposed to produce rich spatial audio, giving you that surround sound effect. And going by Apple's existing spatial audio experiences with their AirPods Pro and the AirPods Pro 2, I know the sounds are gonna be pretty good on this system. Again, do need to try it for myself. And I'm hoping that you will be able to pair up your own Bluetooth headphones or earbuds. So that'll be interesting, but there is definitely no audio jack included anywhere on this headset. The next positive must buy reason is the power and specifications. This headset has a massive array of sensors and high resolution cameras, including LiDAR sensor, true depth camera, infrared flood illuminators and lots more. So it can deliver precise head tracking, hand tracking and real time 3D mapping. You have a powerful dual chip system. So this headset has the Apple M2 chip which handles the Vision OS operations and then you have a secondary Apple R1 chip which is designed to manage the cameras, the sensors, the microphones etc. Now the most exciting and probably the best feature for me, what I can't wait to test, in this headset is the ability to transform the space around you. So your living room can be virtually transformed into a beach or a lakeside, and then you can play a movie on a massive cinema screen hovering just in front of you. You can adjust the screen size and the depth of that screen as well. I think that's gonna be one of the most um, interesting, most exciting features of this headset. Now let's talk about the negatives. There are a few points that I've picked up, uh, which makes me personally not want to buy this Apple Vision Pro. Now, first and foremost, important point for me is the fact that this is not a VR headset. So that means you will not be able to play those awesome addictive VR games like Beat Saber or Pistol Whip. So when I first heard about the upcoming Apple headset, um, I and many others assumed that VR would be its focus point, but unfortunately it's not. Second reason is the price. I believe the Vision Pro is going to be priced around $3,400. That's three times more expensive than the MetaQuest Pro. And I feel that the lack of VR capabilities and the lack of third-party software compatibility makes this headset a bit pricey. You could pick up the MetaQuest Pro right now for $1,000. Um, Meta has actually dropped their price and it lets you do a lot more than the Vision Pro um, in terms of gaming. 
But of course, the MetaQuest Pro will not give you those advanced special Apple features that they're introducing. Features like the FaceTime, the eye tracking, the hand gesture controls, and lots more. So take it like Apple's Vision Pro is a completely new genre of headsets, which we haven't experienced or seen yet. Now, if I add more of my personal thoughts to this, I already have so many different ways of doing FaceTime. Uh, what I really wanted from this headset was VR capabilities. I wanted a massive library of VR games. Um, so it's a shame as the hardware and the specifications could have made this the best VR headset we have ever seen. But Apple's vision for the Vision Pro is totally different to any product that's currently available to buy. You are certainly paying a premium for, the, for its uniqueness. Now the third and final reason why I'm slightly put off the Vision Pro is the limitation in software. So you can expect an iOS type of OS with the usual Apple style icons and there'll be a custom Apple App Store. So expect a limited range of apps to begin with, similar to the limitations that we currently face in Apple's 4K TV box. Also, iOS means closed system with no third party app support. So you'll be limited to what Apple wants you to do on this. So those were my thoughts on Apple's new Vision Pro headset after watching the new Apple event. And I think this is going to be a leading product in the AR mixed reality market, uh, but unfortunately not the VR market. That is, that is a totally different story. I think Apple might even release a VR headset in the future and they might be testing the waters with this one. So either way, I hope to find a way to test this product. Um, as it stands, $3,400 is a crazy amount of money, which most of us just don't have to spare. So I guess that's why Apple is launching this product next year. So us tech enthusiasts can start saving right now. Do share your thoughts in the comments. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.